here it is, my new pack, the MLD Burn 38 liter frameless pack. And this is gonna be quite a big change from my previous go-to pack, the Exos 48 liter, which is of course a framed pack, but that's kind of what I wanted. Um, a pack which is really gonna be quite a bit different. So I didn't really go for the profit, which was the 48 liter option, 48 liter option. I wanted something that would really force me to go light and minimalist and on those kinds of trips which there's a lot of scrambling, I'm gonna cover a lot of distance, etc. I just wanna keep it simple, keep it light and I feel pretty confident that I've dialed my gear down to be able to fit in this pack which we will try later. In saying that though, definitely not getting rid of the Exos. Um, 48 liters, 48 liter frame pack is awesome to have in your setup. If I wanna do a bigger trip, a photography trip, a longer trip, go with the wife, etc. Uh, just more gear, that's definitely gonna be my go-to. This is definitely not the master of everything. It's much more of a specialized pack. So let's go over it in a little bit of detail, throw some gear in and go from there. Okay, so those of you don't, that don't know, it is a 38 liter frameless pack, but that 38 liters does include the mesh pocket up front and also the mesh side pockets. It does have a fair bit of customization available when purchasing. One of the things that um, is awesome about MLD, you can get things put on, taken off, etc. And I opted to have a fair bit of things put on. Even though my setup is towards the lighter side of things, it's definitely not super duper ultra light. And I do plan to push this pack to its kind of 10 kilo or 20, 22 pound limit. So one of the things I thought I would add on there and I got on there was the padded hip belt, uh, which is standard on the profit, but not standard on the burn. It's at no extra cost, but it gives you uh, an extra bit of padding here which normally when you get the burn is just the kind of material which the actual uh, pack is made out of that's used for the hip belt. Like I said, since I'll be using um, this pack towards its limit, um, I do appreciate a good hip belt and uh, do feel it makes a difference for me, especially that this will be a frameless pack, so that's one of the reasons I went for the hip belt. The other reason is that they provide better anchor points or it's easier to attach the hip belt pockets which again, you can buy as an additional extra. Um, I got two, so obviously one on each hip belt. Um, carry my snacks in there. I've gotten really used to having the hip belt pockets on the Osprey there. So, you know, I thought, what the hell, I'll continue that on with the burn. Um, they're just super, super handy. One of the great things about these hip belt pockets is they're completely removable. So if you feel you're not going to use them, just unclip um, on the side there and you can slide them off the hip belt. The other thing is because they are removable, you might have your food, your snacks, etc. cetera there. Um, if you're going on a trip, a day trip or, or whatever, and you wanna leave your pack in the car and just carry some snacks or something with you, again, you can just remove the hip belt pocket with your snacks in there and just carry that with you. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility, which um, I thought was great. Uh, most packs, the hip belt pockets are kind of sold, uh, sewed onto the hip belt itself, non-removable, so that's cool. The other big extra I got was two shoulder strap pockets um, for the water bottles. The way I plan to carry my water is probably in a 1.5 liter plastic bottle or two one liter bottles, um, which will go on the side here. The other side will probably be my tripod if I'm doing uh, bring my camera along. And my main kind of way to drink is going to be just through um, 500 or 600 mil shoulder bottles. So I've got the Ultimate Direction soft uh, water bottles that I have in my race vest. Uh, probably just gonna use these with this pack. They're just super easy and they're just easy to drink out of. So um, again, completely removable. So maybe I'll just take one, maybe I'll use both. We'll see how we go in future trips, trips and I'll let you guys know. Now, the big thing with um, the design of the pack is you can get a lot of extra, you know, cords attached, loop points, strapping, etc. Um, I went with the ice axe loops uh, at the bottom, which are actually now standard on the burn. 
Um, the photos don't have them, they only have them on the profit. I emailed Ron at MLD, and uh, yeah, he informed me that it's actually standard now with the burn, and you've got all these other kind of anchor and attachment points. Um, I'll be carrying a fair bit of gear on the outside, probably my sleeping pad. Um, again, I'll have the tripod and other things kind of attached, strapped here and there. So um, I really appreciate um, that in the design. Apart from that, uh, the top closure, you've got these uh, snaps here. I hate Velcro. Apart from it being noisy, getting stuff stuck in the Velcro, I find that it wears over time. So I much prefer these clips on the roll, clo roll closure, and then you can simply roll it up and close it. So that's pretty much the run rundown on the pack. Let's throw some stuff in there and see how we go. Okay, so I've got most of my base weight gear here from my sleeping setup, so the quill, the mat, I've got my shelter set up, Vivi, and also the tarp here with pegs. I am getting a new shelter. Um, it will potentially be used in the ultralight setup here instead of the tarp, but we'll get to that when it arrives. I've got water purification, my first aid, toiletries, some spare clothes, and also my cooking kit here. Um, one big thing you don't see here is food, which will vary quite a fair bit. But hopefully when I pack this, you'll see that there's more than enough room for at least a few days of food in there. A uh, few little things that I don't have with me, um, just head torch, don't have my power bank, um, and I think that's really the other things which I don't currently have in this setup right now. But they'll go in things like the side pockets and, you know, inside um, other little, little bits and pieces here, so they're not majorly important. I really kind of want to see how these bigger ticket items fit um, and show you guys. So, let's get started. Now, I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to use the foam pad, this is three quarters um, as a frame. I am potentially going to get the full size one of these, especially because I do a fair bit of winter camping and the ground being quite cold is not very pleasant to lay on. So the idea is getting a full length one of, the, one of these and cutting the last two of the rectangles to put in the frame. Because when I put, to put in the bag to use as a frame, because when I put in this here at the moment, I split it in half and I chuck it in here. It doesn't take up it doesn't take up a lot of room, but um, I feel that it takes up more than it should. And again, only you need, really need two pads in there, uh, two of the rectangles, and the rest I can strap on the outside. You know, I got the ice axe loop, ice axe, ice axe loops, etc., for a reason. But anyway, that's my idea for a quick little frame. So I'll use that. Next up, we'll chuck in the quilt. Bear in mind that can compress a lot more. It's uh, the Inline Equipment Revelation Quilt. In the bag that it comes with, it can probably compress another um, 25 to 30%. We'll leave that as is at the moment. We'll chuck the shelter in there, so the bivy, the tarp, okay, pegs. Okay, that'll go in there. Um, close bag in next. And you kit. Now that cooking kit has uh, my metho stove, and that's actually got metho in there. So that includes the fuel. Now this is my poncho. I would probably put that on the outside. Okay along with possibly water purification. First aid kit. And toiletries. Okay, map stuff as well, potentially pop it on the outside in one of the side pockets. Um, so I'll leave that there at the moment. And um, that would pretty, pretty much be it. 
Let me go get my um, the water bottle so I can show you where that's going to sit and also what I meant by the, uh, the soft water bottles here on the shoulder straps. Okay, so with the water bottle, this is just a 1.5 litre kind of standard plastic water bottle that you get from the store. So that would go into one of the sides. And like I said, on the other side, uh, potentially I'd have my tripod um, or maybe another water bottle. It just depends on the trip, but that's really going to add to the weight. So ideally, it's just going to be one 1.5 litre bottle. And then these are the Ultimate Direction soft water bottles. They're 500 mils each and they just simply fit in there and that gets cinched down like so. And then as I'm hiking, as I'm walking, it's really easy. These are just placed on the shoulders. I can really just grab these and have a really quick drink without having to stop, remove anything um, or anything like that. And I can really easily monitor my water consumption and refill these as I need to uh, when I have a quick rest. The other thing I like about these is I use things like Tailwind, so electrolyte mixtures, etc. And I can have one bottle with just water, the other bottle with um, one of the electrolyte mixtures. So it gives me that flexibility as well. Anyway, let's close this thing up. Done, done. And you can see there, everything compresses down even a fair bit more, and I should have more than enough room in there for food for quite a few days. I would even say that I've got heaps more room left in there. Um, I'm going to run out of like weight capacity because I like you really want to keep this thing under 10 kilos uh, or it becomes quite uncomfortable before I run out of room. Um, so it's really quite amazing how much you can fit in this 38 litre pack and you can see how stretchy the mesh pockets are uh, on the front and also on the side here. I didn't say before but uh, I really want to say it now just before I end the video how impressed I am with the quality of the construction. Um, all the stitching, all the mesh pocket, everything here is is awesome. There's not a loose stitch. There's double stitching, you know, where you think it, there should be to uh, to support some of the anchor points and some of the higher stress points where the materials join up. And MLD, um, Ron, the owner of the company, awesome, awesome job. Really, really happy with the product. And that's why I brought several things from MLD. It just continues to impress. And it's not the cheapest, but I have a feeling this this pack, along with the uh, the other things, will really last a fair bit. And yeah, I'm excited to get on the trail and test this thing out. So stay tuned for further videos with the new pack. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Questions, leave them down below, and I will see you in the next video. Happy trails.